Hello guys, my name's Liam and I got FIFA 13 on the release date which is really nice in the UK which is Friday got it from Tesco's, good old Tesco's, other supermarkets are available and yeah I'm going to do this ultimate team series I'm just going to focus on this series, it's going to be Road to beat 5, five star BBL which would be a Premier League team, I'm trying to get them all to 5 star trying to get the team 100 chemistry 5 star team so pretty much what you see here, this is like a sort of test thing just to show what Ultimate Team's all about I think I don't really like the idea of it but you know you get to try out some cool players which is pretty cool I guess but I think it's just trying to tempt you to buy packs really but I suppose it does show you what Ultimate Team is all about and it's about combined in nations, leagues or clubs all together and it will raise you more chemistry so I was trying out the first game here, just a little tester because you got a player, you can't, you can, you can forfeit. But Hazard was looking good here, and Van Persie slots it away with a nice little ball. Yeah, these players are really good. Lovely ball there from David Silva. Cisse running onto that, and Cisse just missing. I probably should have scored that. Maybe hit it with his um right foot. Yeah, some nice little play going on this little move. I wasn't sure if I was going to win or not because I haven't been playing the game that much yet so I had to get used to it I thought this game might be online but it's not this is um CPU which is kind of strange you think they might put you against computers not computers but oh well but nice little lob there Van Persie so I was winning this game really comfortably and I wasn't all over him the first half but second half I was I was just getting all over him creating some nice little chances yeah I saw he's just a complete beast look at that pass I'm going to pass it back to him just because I think he deserves a goal. Bang. You know, he's a great player and I hope to get him in my ultimate team. Maybe in the centre defence mid position. Probably play the 4 2 1 2 1 2. That's my throat formation. Oh, look at that touch, Van Persie. And trying to go for the lob, really, but the dive nether from Kabai. Kabai is a good player as well. A bit underrated on this game, in my opinion, but yeah, I'll probably do the 4 1 2 1 2 formation. And just get all kinds of players that I like in real life, or just on the game. I will start off like quite cheap players, but then I'll get there. You know, once I build coins up. So yeah, I won five nil that one. Yeah, I'd sorry getting me two goals. And Percy playing really well. And yeah, this is me trying to start my team. Lam's BBL. The abbreviation Lam, so you know which club I'm going to be. So it'd be the capital Lam. I'm trying to claim my starter pack here, but you can see it's loading. I'll sped this bit up a bit and you know it just takes ages you know, it's really really buggy this first day and I'm hoping it'll get better it's just so buggy it's leaving me it's just signing me out it's leaving the serve leaving the ultimate team it's just really annoying to be honest but w once you leave it you have to start that whole game again which is really annoying but finally I managed to get on I haven't really seen my team yet but I saw it was a bronze team there as you can just about to see and I had a Pompey player up front and Pompey, Portsmouth FC it's the team I support because I currently live there and yeah they got Ashley Harris up front the striker so I thought I'd just go right into a game this is like the road to division one sort of thing but in ultimate team it's a nice little addition and but you start in division five instead of division ten but you can see there he's got a really good team like well, not a really good team but you know just the average gold gold players but I had a bunch of bronze because my free packs weren't available for some reason I did open them on a different account so I think that might be why and I have to transfer the coins over because I'm selling them at the moment yeah I was just getting some chances here you know my bronze players they weren't slow at all most of them had around 70 pace and above so that was good lovely ball from Harris there and my or or meno is that how you say it you know he's got a fantastic header I found out and you know he works really well with Harris because Harris is short, he runs on and he can cross that ball in really nicely so you know even though these bronze players I thought they would be pathetic you know because of the first touch system a bit of a dodgy touch there but I thought they would be pathetic 1-0 up against gold team so it's looking good but then my defence you know he just knocks his own player out there it's just awful defending and he managed to get past, not, not much I could do about that one because my defence was just quite bad you know, he like kicks his own player when trying to kick the ball, clear the ball away. So it's quite annoying on my behalf on that one. But one at one all now. 
and I was confident because I was dominating the game. I'll show you the stats at the end, but really great goal kick there. Lovely touch from Harris. Harris knocking it forward. You see he's got the pace. He's only got about 75, I think, but he's got a fantastic cross. And there's the head of Ormeno. I can't pronounce his name, but what a header. Ormeno, great little goal. A fantastic cross from Harris, the Pompey player. And 2-1 up now. So I was liking this bronze team, you know. It wasn't pathetic. I thought I was going to get thrashed or something. But, you know, I'm quite an experienced FIFA player. So I shouldn't think that. And I slot it away with, this, with my centre attacking mid, which is playing left mid at the moment. Mel Spoo. You know, he's been playing quite well. He's got some good pace. And a nice little play shot there. I'm not really good at finesse shots in this game so far. In the demo, I couldn't score him at all. But nice little finesse there. Not much power, but it runs, curls right in the corner. It's lovely. Great accuracy. Here he is again, lovely little play here, chip ball, another lob ball, he manages to stay on line for the hat-trick, he lobs it over the goalkeeper. Oh mo, oh, oh memo, oh my god, I can't pronounce that, I'm so sorry, I'm probably, you'll probably run rage in the comments now, like, blah 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 blah, you pronounce it like this, blah blah blah, but no, no, <laughs> got, got again a few trophies here, Ashley Harris, man of match, got three assists, he didn't score, but he was amazing with the crosses, the delivery, linking up play. 543 coins on my first time with team games and a 4-1 win. And that was good because he had a much better team than me, as you saw. And there's the stats, 14 shots had, he had 6, 7 shots on target had, he had 3, and I had a bit more possession. So you get 10 games, 9 points you need to get to promotion to Division 4, 12 points. I think that's like a bonus thing where they give you like coins or something like that. But yeah, I look at Kevin Nolan here, a few seconds to go, 400 coins, it looks like a good buy, I wasn't going to bid any further because I thought maybe he's not worth that much, but 400 coins, it seems worth it for Nolan, I like him in real life, he gets forward, he scores the headers, he scores the goals, got a good shot and a great long pass on him, so he fits in nicely, got him in the Morick formation, only gets 7 chemistry, but he boosts my chemistry up even more. But this guy had some shinies all around. He had a right forward at right back. I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be just because he wants to get his chemistry up. But not a great idea playing a forward right back, in my opinion. Because, you know, especially Italian ones, they're normally quite weak and small. Only best for dribbling. But anyway, get into this game and I'm like, right. I won the last one, so I was feeling quite confident. I was happy with my players. Even though they were just my bronze starters, I was really happy with the link up play forward. And my defenders didn't team too sloppy. He gets a free kick outside box. I'm not really quite sure, to be honest. I wasn't sure at the beginning. But he, he just simply passes it here. Splits my defence open. What a poor goal to concede. I'm just. Oh, I'm astonished. I really am about that goal. That's probably the worst goal I've conceded defensively. That's just. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. I just. Maybe it's my break from FIFA I've had for a while, but oh well. Nolan getting a nice shot here, but comes down to Harris, but he's offside, which is unlucky. Nolan getting his first shot there on goal. Nice little shot. But yeah, here's Ormeno, the great man. Trying a little trickery there. Trying to, I was just trying to beat the players because there wasn't many runs going on, but just trying to beat some players here. Lovely ball into Nolan, and Nolan getting on the header. Lovely header. I was really chuffed with that goal because a lovely reverse ball. It seems you can get them reverse balls in FIFA 13 a lot more than you can in 12. So if you've got the vision to play that ball, play it. And you know, you've got someone that can header it on, like Nolan or my Ormeno. You know, they're going to head it in. That was really good for me. But, oh, I thought that was going to be a goal then. But, oh, it's really shocking this bit. I just can't defend. Just couldn't close them down quick enough. He just has too much pace and ball control him of my defenders. Oh, poor defending, he just knocks it in. And I'm 2-1 down again. But I'm only one goal down against a gold team. So I was looking at the positive, but still trying my hardest. Inset the ball with Nolan. And I've got like loads of options, so I take my time. And outside of the foot pass, Harris. Harris, one-on-one, -on -one, heavy touch. And he manages to slot it in. Lovely goal. First goal for Harris. What a ball for Nolan. Nolan with a goal and assist. He's just been on fire. So it's 2 0, 74 minute. All I had to do now is defend solidly or four. Maybe get him on the counter just like I did with Nolan and Harris. 
but he's running down the wing and I just haven't got the pace to get him as you see I just can't catch up I try sliding him but it just doesn't work and I know he's slowing down for the sweat but I just don't close him down he hits the post oh god oh that that really put me on my nerve because if that went in that would just be embarrassing but you know he had a whole goal team Nolden and Harris man the match again you know good old Pompey player Harris I'm gonna see him today because I've got a Pompey game and you know he's a great player because he's born in Portsmouth one of the only players he's actually got on contracts we're getting those one month loans because there's a lot of trouble you know with money in administration if you didn't know but yeah it's a shame but Harris you know he's a good player in real life as well as you see I've got four points now and it's the start of a great series and I hope you enjoyed this episode the episodes will get better as I said I did open the packs at my other channel and you know I'll get a few thousand coins in that and I'll buy like a few players like maybe a defender and a goalkeeper if you write in the comments any players you really recommend then I'll check them out and maybe buy them in the next episode hope to see you guys next time goodbye